Now, before the break, I said we had something to look forward to out there today. That's unseasonably warm temperatures. But over the next four weeks, we'll actually be able to look forward to a little bit more of that daylight. We're going to be gaining about an hour and five minutes of daylight over the next four weeks. Now, that sunrise this morning was at 716. It was tough to see considering we we're seeing those mainly clear skies out there. Sunset will be approaching nearly 530 later on this evening. Now, in the next two weeks, by February 13th, we're looking at a sunrise just ahead of 7 a.m. while sunset will be at 543. And looking ahead towards the end of the month of February, we're looking at a sunset getting close to 6 p.m. Now satellite and radar though out there this morning we're starting off with some clouds out there. Now these clouds will continue to push their way farther off towards our east so we'll see emerging sunshine developing later on today. Likely later on this morning and into the afternoon hours we'll see a little bit more of that sun. But also we're tracking a few areas of some lower visibility associated with some fog down about five miles in Frederick and Leesburg four in Winchester and we're seeing a bit of a bullseye back over towards westernmost parts of Maryland where we could be dealing with about a mile or less of visibility for Garrett County. So again, just be cautious as you're heading out on your travels on this Monday morning commute. Those temperatures this morning, not too bad. We're looking at mid upper 30s to low 40s. And then we'll see those temperatures really warming up later on this afternoon. But speaking of these temperatures out there this morning, these will likely be the high temperatures we see for tomorrow afternoon. So really a stark difference in the temperatures from today's high temperatures to tomorrow. And that's all because a cold front will swing through later on this evening. So get outside and try to enjoy today's warmth. We're tracking highs mid upper 50s to right about 60 for your Monday afternoon. Lows tonight falling back into the low to mid 30s and looking ahead towards tomorrow. Like I mentioned, many of us will struggle to make it out of the 30s, but we could be seeing those high temperatures right around 40 for the district as well as Fredericksburg. And not only for tomorrow will we see those cooler temperatures, we'll also see uh, some light wintry mix. So let's talk about the timing of that today, though, mainly dry aside from that spot shower chance as a cold front swings through later on this evening. Now, as we look ahead towards overnight tonight into tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. This is the latest update associated with this precipitation. We're looking at the potential for a little bit of that wintry mix, especially back out towards Loray, and even back out towards parts of 66. Could see a little bit of that snow mixing in for the D.C. area, but it looks like meant much of it will be mainly rain. Looks like we'll be back over towards the west by 2 p.m. a chance for some of that snow passing through as temperatures will be falling. And as we look ahead towards Wednesday 7 a.m. we should be drying things out. We'll see a gradual clearing of those skies from north to south and eventually we'll notice those high temperatures on Wednesday right around 40 degrees or at least low 40s. And then as we get ahead towards the end of the week we're looking at Friday this cold pocket of air off towards the north. We're talking a little bit more of that Arctic chill. It's likely it would be much colder around New England back here locally we're going to be tracking much colder air uh, in comparison to the start of the week but yes it looks like it will be much more bitter cold as we look ahead towards saturday so friday we're looking at high temperatures mid 30s saturday will be the coldest day out of that seven day but thankfully temperatures will moderate by sunday highs low 40s shanika's here with the latest look at the roadways